Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of Surrey Community Gallery here at the Newton Cultural Centre. My name is Wendy Mould. I am the producer of ACS Gallery Talks. I'm here today to introduce you to our featured artist for March, Gail Atchison. Works by Gail are here until May, March 27th. You may view the show online at the Arts Council of Surrey.ca or in person here at the gallery. Gail's show is called The Beauty of Nature. It is about her love for nature. She enjoys exploring wilderness trails and bringing back those memories and photographs, later turning them into her paintings. Art has been her focus throughout her life, first as a full-time teacher and now as a full-time painter. Her interest ranges from mountain trails to the rough waters of the coastal shores. As I look at her work, I can feel her passion. I look forward to talking with Gail about her work. So let's go meet the artist. Hi Gail, it's really nice to chat with you today about your work. And um, I love this picture by the way. Can you tell us the story of it? How did it come about? Well, um, it came about because I, I travel a lot and I love waterfalls. And I happened to see a waterfall that was split. And so I decided that that was something I wanted to try and paint myself. Um, I chose, I love to do monochromatic colors like this. It's just one basic color and bring in the light from it. And most importantly, I like to get all the, the movement in the water because water is when you when you paint water you don't paint white there's no white in it and it's all layers of color underneath and to get the movement and especially things like this and to get your your sort of movement at the bottom again is all what we tend to look for so I was looking for something that would give me all the movement but also the of course have to get my have to get my uh, bird in there I'd right. like to have some sort of live thing in in the picture mm -hmm. and eagles of course are one of my favorites so I put a little bit of my favorites of a lot of things I love to have dead trees and um, of course rocks like this rocks are so hard I find to paint so it was a real challenge for me to put this together I must admit, I love the, the light on the water as it splashes at the bottom. Nice touch, really nice touch, yes. That actually, I, I little secret, I used a, paint, uh, a toothbrush. Oh, that's what I used to get the splash. To get the splattery. To get the splash. Yeah. I, I worked hard at it, but that's how you do it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, I certainly enjoyed that. And that picture is Blue Waterfall. Yes. Lovely. Thank you. Okay, let's go on. This is an interesting looking picture, certainly not West Coast. Sunlight on the desert. What's the story of this picture? Well, I've traveled in, out in the desert around Tucson, and, and I love the Saguaro Cactus Country. And I've been out there in the desert so morning, noon, and afternoon. And this, the light on the desert has always been fascinating to me as well as just the fact that you've got saguaro cactus that, that take 10 years to get two feet tall. So once something that's tall like that is maybe 50, 100 years old. So it, it always fascinates me. But the technique to do this picture is more in the glazing. And it's, with acrylics, it's hard to do glazing because they dry so fast. So in order to get, go from the light yellowy color to the mauve and onto the blue, you had to use, first of all, very, very soft brush. We call them hake brushes because they're soft goat hair. And then a lot of very light touches and a moisture. You had to keep, keep it wet in order to keep it going. And I did five coats to get that. It took five times to do it. So it's not something you can do in one s s small section. Mm -hmm. um, and of course I've got some, some birds up there again. Um, and 
between that and I use some glaze to show to show the sunrise coming through to hitting the rocks. Uh, I and very lightly brought it over here, but I wanted the main light to be coming from that side. And again, with the glazing. Um, and you glaze right down to pretty much to here. This is all glazes of one color or other. Mm -hmm. The desert is, is a fascinating place to go for getting color changes like this. Wow. Very nice. I'm sure I have been on that little trail there too. Really caught it. Thank you. Okay, let's go look at another picture. Out for a walk. Now I understand this picture kind of represents things that you're planning to do in the future with your work. What is that about? Well, I love doing big pictures. I There is something fascinating about getting the canvas, this big of a canvas and portraying nature in it. Um, you've got a lot more scope for, for distance and all sorts of things. And of course, I love to do animals. And so I plan to do a lot more big animals. But um, I have a very good friend and she wanted me to say, make sure you have some bears in your pictures. Um, and so that's how I came to about to put my grizzly and her cubs there. When you do large paintings like this, um, you have to look at details quite differently than what you would on a smaller painting. And so things like distance and things really become important. So I think that's one of the reasons why I like it. And as I say, I love to do anything with animals in them. I put animals, no birds this time, but I do like animals and birds as much as I possibly can in pictures. Mm -hmm. And I plan to do, I have a, big picture of a deer I want to do and another one of a bear that I'm dying to get started on. So yes, that's basically where I hope to go in the near future. I see, I see. And um, not just in the mountains too, you like to do the prairies. Oh, I love to do anywhere. Yeah. Wherever I can put some animals in, or birds in, I, yes, yes. I always do. Very interesting. Well, this was really nice, Gail, to chat with you today about your work, and I do appreciate your time. And uh, yes, I look forward to seeing some of your new paintings. Oh, thank you. Gail Aitchison's show, The Beauty of Nature, can be seen here at the Newton Cultural Center until March 27th, or online at thearts.council of Surrey.ca.